Hi, I'm Becky Streepy from Glue and Glitter, and today we are going to make a pineapple cucumber gazpacho. Before we get to the recipe, I wanted to talk a little bit about it. The first thing that I wanted to address is the people who are looking at this recipe and saying, that is not a gazpacho. I have great news for you. It is a gazpacho. Traditionally, a gazpacho is a tomato-based cold soup, but over the years, the definition has expanded and really any cold fruit and vegetable soup that includes some of those core gazpacho flavors qualifies. So get ready to enjoy an awesome cold fruit gazpacho. This gazpacho recipe has pineapple and cucumber, obviously, a little bit of onion, a little bit of jalapeno for spice, and then plenty of fresh basil and fresh parsley to bring the flavor. It's really refreshing. It's delightful on a hot day. There are a couple of ways that you can save yourself a lot of time when you're making this recipe. The first thing is with the pineapple itself. You can buy a whole pineapple and peel it and core it and cut it up for this recipe, but that takes a lot of time. And if you are in a hurry, I definitely recommend just buying pineapple chunks at the store. Most produce sections have them. You can even use canned pineapple in a pinch, just drain it. Um, but if you can do fresh, I recommend it. I feel like you get better results that way. The next time saving thing you can do is with just the general chopping. Since this recipe uses an immersion blender, you don't really need to worry about dicing and mincing things up very fine. Just big chunky pieces will do the trick. You don't want to put a whole cucumber in a bowl and expect your immersion blender to you know, work its way through that, but big chunky pieces are going to be good and they're much easier to make. Like the jalapeno, I think I cut into two or three pieces and the cucumbers, big one and a half, even two inch chunks will be fine. Leave the herbs whole. Save yourself time on prep work that way and let your blender do the work. So if you're not familiar with immersion blenders, don't panic. You can do this recipe in a food processor or a regular blender, just pulsing until you get the consistency that you like. I love using my immersion blender because it's much easier to clean than a regular blender. So this is an immersion blender. It's also called a stick blender and it's just there's a blade down here inside this little safety shield. There's a button up here that turns it on. So you just stick it right in the bowl where your food is and blend away. It makes things very easy. If you don't have one, I recommend it. It's great for making creamy sauces, for pureeing soups in the pot. You don't have to wait for them to cool down. It's a handy thing to have. Well, I think we've really covered everything you need to know. Let's cook. 